A money alert tonight. The Jacksonville North Pulaski School District is asking voters to extend a current millage tax already in place. The original 7.6 mills were approved when the district was formed. That was in 2016. According to the officials at the meeting, the extension would keep the tax going through 2054. That's 35 years from now. Fox 16's Rebecca Jeffrey was at the first town hall meeting where the public could ask questions. Rebecca, how did that go? Well, good evening, Donna. The meeting certainly had its fair share of those for and against the proposed millage extension. While the district says it's not a tax increase, those against it say it's still more money being asked for just three years after the original millage passed. How many more schools are you all planning on building? One by one, those living in the Jacksonville North Pulaski School District zone voicing their opinions on the proposed millage extension. Some for. You don't have a heart for children if you want to stop this millage. Some against. I thought the first millage proved that everybody was for the kids to begin with. A panel made up of the school attorney, superintendent, fiscal agent who came up with the extension and school board members fielded questions for about two hours. If the millage isn't extended, then the district can't afford the payments in order to build all the facilities. The district's attorney says under court order to stay out of facilities distress, they need to build three new elementary schools and one middle school. This comes after the district has spent about $90 million on the new high school, elementary school, and two multi-purpose facilities in the last three years. They say instead of raising taxes or cutting all non-essential school programming, the district is asking for the extension. It's $60 million new money. $60 million. That's $14,000 per child that's registered. And while the district says it's worked to find the best way to fund the improvements. I won't vote for it. Not the largest, but certainly the most vocal group at the meeting says they haven't yet made the grade. The millage extension goes for a vote come May 21st. The money would ensure the district is in compliance with the court order. And by 2026, all the schools in the district would be new. Huh. Well, based on what I saw from your report, there were lots of people really questioning this and thinking, why do we have to still keep paying this? So with that in mind, what happens if they if voters don't approve the millage. Yeah, well, the so the district attorney had explained that through this court order, and it's a court order that actually goes back to the desegregation policies, yeah. they said that the judge would possibly be able to order for, this, for the district to go into facilities distress, which would force them to raise taxes or they could actually cut all non-essential school programs. So you're oh talking... Your sports, your band, yes, your yes, arts. Yes, yes, yes. To make sure they have the money to pay for these facilities. So, sounds like people are surprised. They weren't expecting to have to continue paying this for almost ever. Exactly. It sounds like. Still a lot of questions being asked, but but it is, you know, they had this town hall meeting. They could possibly have some more as, mm -hmm. as more questions keep getting asked. Okay. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Mm -hmm.